We're here to show you the after pictures, you'll see the before pictures, of this beautiful home and how staging has changed the look and helped draw in the big buyer crowds for this home. So what did we do in this room? So in this room, we updated the paint, we chose a neutral paint color, and as well, we changed out the curtains. So no need to do a custom curtain, we just chose a neutral panel uh, that would give us kind of a blank, fresh feeling light canvas for this room. One of the greatest um, selling features in this room is the light and the height of the ceiling. It's a, it's a beautiful room and I didn't mm -hmm. want to take away from that. So we chose furnishings that were also neutral, warm, complimentary, and the correct scale to really let the best features of the house show. Yeah, so nice neutral room. You're showing the assets of the room, which is the ceiling height, the window, the gorgeous hardwood floors, showing the open space so people can walk in. And lots of people do need to be able to walk in and they're not tripping over minor accessories or details in the room. We've moved to this oversized family room, which is a great adjacent room off the kitchen. The limitation here was this house was vacant, and to get buyers to visualize the space, we had Trish bring in some pieces. So Trish, what was the purpose on this room? So in a big room like this, I think it's important to show buyers how to use the space. Absolutely. And provide them with a furniture layout that gives them some ideas they could picture their own pieces. So we brought in a nice, neutral, brown leather couch and then two club chairs to flank the fireplace and this creates a nice conversational space. Right. We chose to put artwork but of course that could remain artwork that could become media. I think the room now shows really well as a family room. And it was, it was interesting to watch people play through this house and see them actually use the space. Um, I think if you don't feel like you can sit down in a house when you're looking at it, you really discount the room. Right? I find as human beings we need to like anchor ourselves in the spaces and see how we're going to live in them. So without the furniture I don't think I would have got that anchoring from so many buyers in this area. Very, very good thing to do with a vacant property. I agree with that. Giving some furniture, some texture, a little bit of colour mm -hmm. uh, warms up the room and lets the buyer envision how they're going to live. And I think you did a great job with some of the other rooms in this house where we didn't bring in the pieces, but you went with the virtual staging option. So how does that work? When we stage a room virtually, we can actually superimpose the image of, say, a dining table. That allows somebody to see through a photograph how they would use the space. We can still use artwork, we can add in accessories. Right. It's really an amazing tool. Yeah, no, I love it. It lets people quickly, and you know, with so many people shopping online, be able to visualize those spaces very fast and see where their things would go. It's a very unique selling feature to be able to use virtual staging.